Hello, my lovers. Long time no see. I need to be productive today. And the only thing that I could think of that would light a fire on my ass is the pressure and judgment of you watching me attempt to have a productive day. It's 11 a.m. I went to bed at 4 a.m. And I have put a bunch of sticky notes on the wall. Things that I need to spend an hour doing each. Which, how is that hard? I get so overwhelmed and caught up and I'm like, I have so much to do. And then I just sit there on the couch and say, I have so much to do for seven hours on end and don't do anything. So I'm going to get up and shower, scrape the skin off the inside of my cheeks. And by the way, I'm extremely anxious. My anxiety is really fucking gnarly since my aunt passed away, which is why I need your help to take the garbage out. Mwah. Okay. It's 11.51, I need to eat, I'm starving. I have a haircut at five. These are all the things that I need to do. And they're really not hard, like take your sheets off. Okay. I just, I get so paralyzed. I need to get an ADHD buddy that I can body double with. I get so much more done, just literally in the presence of someone else. It makes no fucking sense. But I need to wash my damn sheets. I have to move by October 1st. And I am mad stressed about it. Like mad stressed about it. And the Vancouver rental market is absolutely fucked. I have pillowcase protectors. Where are they? So I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I messaged a bunch of places yesterday. And they're all scams. Like, they're the weirdest fucking dudes messaging me back. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe, wait, wrong way. My anxiety is freaking gnarly. I took a Vyvanse yesterday, which is my ADHD med, which is a stimulant. And it gave me really bad anxiety. So that was kind of counterproductive, but I guess I just have to get used to it. So I need to eat. That's kind of important. What's this? This is what I do. I'm like, I have so much to do and then I stand here and go. So when you eat and I should do, I'm so sad that I'm leaving this apartment. This is seriously the best view in Vancouver and no one can tell me otherwise. I've been in some nice ass penthouses in Vancouver and none of them can see all five of the major landmarks. It's on my list to make my overnight oats. So I should do that. But I'm gonna think. I want to go back to bed. Jessica, you're making a YouTube video about productivity. You need to be productive or people are going to think you're unproductive. You're a lazy piece of shit. Okay. <sighs> I do need like that judgment and pressure. I can't be self-employed. I need a manager. I need someone being up my ass being like, Jess, answer the email. Jess, get back to the brand. Jess, edit the fucking video. Jess, edit the pictures. Jess, answer your messages. I open my email. I have 12 unread emails. Every day I open it and I just stare at them. And I'm like, how do I answer this? <sighs> Holy fuck, I'm gonna faint. Okay, food. 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 I made spaghetti, as in I just used the Foddy Foods bolognese sauce, and it's just turkey and gluten-free noodles. But I'm so tired. I slept six hours. I didn't take a Vyvanse. I'm just dead. Um, but I got one thing done. I did one thing. Oh my god, one down. Okay, now what's next? 
I want to go to Canadian Tire. I have a hair appointment at five. Look for apartment. Take out the garbage. I guess I could take out the garbage and do Canadian Tire in one setting and get paper towel. Take out garbage, paper towel, and the rubber bins. Should I go do the three things? Should I? Oh. That would be four things I accomplished in one day. I still haven't answered my OnlyFans messages. I have like 20. Last time I checked. Take out garbage, rubber bin, storage. Okay. Well, why am I sitting down? Just do it. Just do it. Why am I like this? Garbage. I'm going to do these three tasks. And I am excited. I'm getting, I'm going to get these big, you know, like the big Rubbermaid bins, like the double wide ones. I'm going to pick up like six and uh start packing up for moving in the two months because i got a lot of shit going on in the next two months which is kind of fucking me up but what other oh i should clean the cat litter before i take the garbage out um i have a storage locker underground and it's just fucking a disaster i have like all my old clothes that I don't want to get rid of. Babushka, should I just dump this and restart? It's kind of ugly and gross. I got her crystal cat litter. But you can like split! You can like see the yellow. But she hasn't been crying about it, which is refreshing, and she hasn't been getting eye infections, which is refreshing because my little Scottish fold is very sensitive because she's so fucking incest that her eyeballs can't drain through her nose. Babushka, get ready to move somewhere with no windows. Do you think my cat's gonna get depression? I'm just absolutely panicking because September is the hardest month of the year for me because my dad died on September 10th and then his birthday's on the 21st. And it's also when like summer ends. Bushka, you like this crystal litter or what? No, nope, no, she's just gonna run away from me. What's new, Babu? I posted about how I just wanna run away to Bali so I can fucking save thousands of dollars on taxes and shit. And Miss Nomi. Naomi Seville was like, yo, I'll take Babushka, and I'm like, fuck. And then I'm like, no, I could never live without her, like, how would I ever do that? But at the same time, I want to run away again, like, COVID restrictions are off. It's just killing me, the idea of having to pay like $2,000 to live in a place that I don't even necessarily like that much.
if I do it like this, I'm gonna have to bring my recycling bin into my car, which I guess would be fine. Okay, we're prepared, Babu. The garbage is ready. Canadian Tire, let's do this. Canadian Tire, Rubbermaid containers and paper towel. Let's go. 1.15 p.m. I could probably work on my OnlyFans while I'm getting a haircut. I got another smoothing treatment, but it didn't work as well and I'm sad about it. Okay, I need to catch my breath. Okay, let's go. Okay, I took the garbage out. Congrats to me, Canadian Tyrant. Here I come. So, I spent 45 minutes trying to pick out containers and I spent $180. And I just stood there and looked at all of them over and over and over. And I wanted to get clear ones for clothes because it's easier for me to <sighs> see. And I'm like, if I put it in the storage unit, people might see the clothes they like and steal them. But I'm like, oh, whatever. I made a decision. Congrats, Jesse made a decision. Oh my god. Okay, home time, please. I'm fucking pissed. I've spent the last hour and a half organizing this storage locker, taking everything in it out of it. There's so much. And then as soon as I'm finished, I go to leave. Can't find my phone. I had to take everything out and search the bottom of all these fucking bins. I am covered in sweat. I'm so thirsty and I'm angry now. <sighs> Fuck. How did it take an hour and a half and all that fucking effort for me just to put bags in bins? Like, was that even more efficient? I need to go and get like five more but now i'm starting to think that the smaller bins are better because in the storage locker it's harder to pull out the long ones oh and the problem is i have so much home decor like pillows i have a thousand throw pillows and like art I need to join. Bruh, that was so exhausting. And what was the point in that? I also, I don't know why I did this, but I had an entire tote or like all these bags of food that doesn't follow my low FODMAP diet. And I just put them in one of those big containers. And I'm like, what a fucking waste of space. And I had a bunch of I had bags and bags of clothes. What the hell's all over my face? I had bags and bags of clothes and I just put them in three bins. Well, two bins, I guess. There's this black shit all over me. I need to take this shirt off, dude. I'm soaked in sweat. So I guess what I've learned from this is that I have to go buy a bunch more bins like a lot more for that storage unit alone I need at least four big ones or eight small ones but it's just like this is my problem I still have this stuff all over me or is it just a shadow I 
I used to be a minimalist and always get rid of everything. I'm like, out of my house. If I'm not using it, out of my house. And then anytime I needed something, I'm like, I used to have that, but I got rid of it. And same with clothes. I got rid of so many clothes because I hadn't worn them. And now I think back and I'm like, I would fucking wear that now. So now I try not to get rid of stuff. Like even my decor from my first apartment, I got rid of so much stuff because... I was moving and I was like oh I'll just like buy new shit but then you go to buy new shit and it's double what you paid in the first place but I have like 20 throw pillows it's too much that was fucking torture I don't feel like I accomplished a single thing all I did was put six garbage bags and two bins how was that a two hour process A lot of the stuff in there is junk that needs to just go away. Now what? Oh god. In my ideal world, all my belongings would just fit in a bunch of containers. But my closet, like I have two full tubs of clothes downstairs. My closet is like 10 more tubs of clothes I do not wear. And they're all like a decade old. And now I have a fuck ton of clothes that are in a size large that I will not get rid of because when I lost weight and was, or when I gained weight, I got rid of all my small clothes and then I lost the weight and then I didn't have any small clothes. So... I'm trying to think what's down there. my apartment I need like two tubs for linens I just want to have all my stuff bingo bango ready to go you know I also pulled the boxes to the front I didn't realize I still had boxes I could go down and box some shit. Why didn't I do that at the time? I have two bins down there that don't have lids. I need to drink more water. I've been so wrinkly looking lately. I need to go buy weed before this appointment, I think. Dude, I'm so tired. I don't feel accomplished. I just have more work to do now. Like I need to go back and buy more bins. But I guess I know now that I want smaller ones. <sighs> Canadian Tire also didn't have vacuum bags because I was gonna vacuum pack those clothes. Also found out I have a fourth bar stool down there. I have four of these gorgeous gold suede fake velvet puppies. Okay Jess, what's next? I don't know. Fuck! I got my hair done. A fresh cut with Melissa today. I'm looking shiny. Shiny and fresh at Bangtown. I'm obsessed with this place is called Bangtown. Yeah, 
so sexy. <laughs> this guy's bike on the tank. It says cunt. Can you see? <laughs> it's 11 p.m. I had another bowl of balganese and I updated my calendar. I'm in my bed and pull all the laundry. I feel like I got nothing done. I feel like I didn't go anywhere. But I'm so anxious and tired and exhausted. You know that feeling when it's like there's a boot stepping on your chest and you can't take a deep breath? You're like, something is blocking my lungs. So welcome to the end of August 5th, 2022. From me and this minion, fuck that hurt my front teeth, whoa. I'm happy you guys were here with me. I'm excited that there's stickers off the wall and I got a couple things done even though I am mad. I've spent the last eight hours on the phone not getting enough done. And I'm gonna resume this said phone call. In my sleep. Love you, my lovers. And I'll be back soon. <laughs> I want you to subscribe to my TikTok. I want you to follow my Instagram and my Twitter and my Pinterest and my YouTube shorts and my YouTube and my Reddit and my fucking LinkedIn, um, my weekly newsletter that I send down in the mail. Oh, and just so you know, there's like three TikTok accounts and three Instagram accounts.